Hey everybody, this is Apostle Bernard with Watchman on Walls, of Watchman on Walls International Fellowship. We're based in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and um, really excited to come on and release the prophetic word for the month. Um, let me make a few announcements. Uh, first, uh, I want to encourage you to join our mailing list at our website. And when you do that, you'll get a free ebook, How to Get a Breakthrough, The Three Laws of Breakthrough. I'm not even going to mention the new ebook. Uh, we're still working on it. So it'll be done when it's done. Okay. Um, the second thing I want to, um, I, I want to talk about is, um, uh, I'm featuring, uh, my latest book, uh, my latest book, which is actually my 14th book. It's amazing to me that I've written 14 books in the last nine years. And actually we've got two more books, uh, that we're planning on publishing before the year is out. It, the, they both were written a few years ago, but, uh, it's now, uh, the timing of the Lord to release them. So that would then be 16 books that I have written and published in the last nine years. I, I give God praise for that. But uh, my the book that I'm featuring this month is entitled Why I Left the Traditional Denominational Church. It's my own story about leaving a denomination, a very traditional denomination, uh, and so I left at the age of 49, resigned from the pastorate to fully go after the kingdom of God and to be all that God is calling me to be. It's been a real struggle these last three years, but we are in the center of God's will, which is the best place to be. All right. So I want you to uh, consider getting a copy of that book. I've got uh, I've got some, actually, I've got some copies here at the house. So when you order your copy, you'll get an autograph, uh, copy from me. Okay. And then the third thing, third thing I want to, uh, talk about is, um, and I'm trying to do this off the top of my head is we're, uh, <laughs> that's funny. I don't have a third, I don't have a third thing I did. I thought I did have a third thing, but uh, uh, maybe it'll come to me before the uh, before the video is over. Okay, so here is what I'm here's what I'm hearing the Lord say uh, for this coming month, and the Lord the Lord is saying you will not go back the way you left, and the Lord uh, began to speak to me. Uh, about how he's sending many of us back to places that he allowed us to leave. Uh, many of us are being called back to jobs. We're being called, uh, many of us are being called back to relationships. Uh, many of us are being called back to ministries. Many of us are even being called back to cities and states and possibly even countries that we have left. And the Lord says that he permitted us to leave because our being there was detrimental for us. So this is a specific word for a specific uh, people. It's probably not for, I'm sure it's not for everybody. But the Lord is targeting you. You had to leave uh, because uh, there was so much pressure about to damage you. Uh, some of you had to leave because of stress. Some had to leave because of burnout. Some of you had to leave because of toxic relationships. Uh, some of you had to leave because of uh, uh, unjust expectations that were being placed on you. You were being used. Uh, you were uh, being taken advantage of. Uh, some of you were even, um, and I say this with the uh, uh, utmost care and love, some of you were victims of physical abuse, uh, sexual abuse, and you had to leave. And the Lord, uh, the Lord allowed you to leave. And you left and you went to another place. And the Lord says you encountered him. 
in that other place, you encountered him. You begin to grow in him. You begin to forgive those that hurt you. And you begin to really grow as, a, as his child. And so now the Lord says he is sending you back and he's not sending you back. It's not a punishment. The Lord says it's not a punishment. The Lord says it is not a mistake. The Lord does not want you to regret having to, uh, having to go back. You're going back as, as, as a act of submission to his will. But the Lord says, now that you have changed and now that you have been renewed in your mind, the Lord says you will not go back the same. So you will not have the same experience. So if you're going back and you've not changed, this is not for you. Do not go back unless you have changed, unless you have had a transformation in your mind, unless you have been renewed in your mind. And the Lord says, because you have changed, you're going to go back and you're going to change that situation. And the Lord says, many of you, it will not be a permanent, it, it, it won't be permanent. Your going back is not going to be permanent. The Lord says he's sending you back as his servant to serve him, to be his witness, to be his uh, example. And the Lord says that there are some things that will that you will close while you're there, because even though you left, there were some things that you left open and now you're going back to close some of those things. So the Lord says, be encouraged in this season. Do not believe it is a mistake. Do not regret your decision uh, to go back. But the Lord says, trust me and serve me in that place and submit to me and hear me. The Lord says it is very important that we hear him. Pay attention to what he's showing us in our dreams. Uh, that's the third thing I wanted to talk about is uh, we really wanna, we wanna really help people in, in their dreams and dream interpretations. So, uh, you know, send me the dream. I don't charge for dreams, but okay, but that's getting away from the word. But that, that was the third thing. So the Lord says, pay attention to your dreams. And the Lord says he is given, there is a purpose for going back and it is his purpose for your life. And so, uh, so rest in that and be encouraged in that. And the Lord says, as you do his will, you're going to see some phenomenal things begin to break out. All right. So God bless you. So let me finish talking about the dreams. And uh, we really want to help as many people as we can. We don't charge, but we do require an offering. Um, that's something that the Lord told us to do. I don't apologize for it. Um, uh, and so uh, you can give as you're led to give. It doesn't matter to me what you give. Give as you're led to give. But let me help you because there is an, there is an, an unlocking of purpose and strategy in your dreams that the Lord really wants you to, to walk out. All right, so that is the, that is the word for the month. We're going to be back on the 11th, 11-11, uh, to give, a, give another word. And uh, listen, I'm really excited about this month. And oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, one more thing I need to talk about. I had a very successful coaching session with a first time client today. And so if you are looking to make some serious breakthrough changes in your life before the end of the year, you need to connect with me as, uh, and, and let's talk about a strategy, uh, call or having a strategy session, uh, as to how I can help you to break through as your breakthrough coach. All right. God bless you. Uh, I'm praying for your month and I'm speaking and decreeing over your month that this will be a month that, that things will become very clear. I declare that things will become very clear to you. And I also declare that many of you who are in transition, your transition is coming to an end in Jesus name for you have fully crossed over and you are now in the place that the Lord wants you to be in. 
Shalom. God bless you.